I remember Adidas Enforcer, Blue to Bone, J and H in Caribbean, run DMC on Rage, Alex Paps the Factory, Spencer Street, Legal City Square, Pieces, Fires, Peach, Don't Believe the Hype in your speakers, Nike sneakers and Pony, Silver Flow Pens, Hangouts, Force and the Doors Open, Hair Like Bogans, Coming Home from Peace and with Shoes and Clothes Soaking, Chrono and Note or Chrome was what he wrote there, Back when Rubber Road Hope and Mist was writing Dope, Alor and Dumb Below, you Rugly, Coma and Pudgy, Tucked and Can, Smelling So Lovely, The 45th Super Clue, DMA Ruin and Rumor KAU in the trains were blue, tame and you take two and tutor TFA, KSA, MSA, CW, claim to fame, WCA, Supreme Artist 2, Jewel and Pest, Fresh Flavors Crew, TWB, Punch and Puzzle Crews, 182, Duet, TCB. My Melbourne memory. The attack stunned passers by. The passenger who tried to board a train on the ground. The Connex driver blows on him. <laughs> Plenty bad apples. My Melbourne memories. My Melbourne memories. My Melbourne memories. I don't know what the hell you were doing in my crib, but I want this shit out of my room. What you mean shit? What shit? This shit. It's fucking garbage. Hey, this isn't garbage. This is something that you don't get to see in the infantry, my man. People are sick of it. Have you been busted for this yet? Never. Never. You mean to tell me that I'm busting my ass? I'm sending money home for you and mom, and you're sitting at home doing this shit, and you should be honor a medal for this. Stop fucking around and be a man. There ain't nothing out here for you. Oh, yes, there is. This, this. Top feeling on Triple R, baby. What more can I say? Top villain Triple R. Yeah. Peace. Uh, okay, so yeah, we have the Kingsway guys in the studio. Uh, Martin Harvey, uh, we got Carl and also Juro in the house. Um, now, if you haven't uh, come across Kingsway uh, yet, I think you've been sleeping because you guys have been all over the internet the last few weeks. That's right. That's yeah. Right. It's, been, it's been a lot, man. Every website I go onto, there's a link for Kingsway, so... Yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot of links going on out there. It's, uh, it's, it's getting pretty big, um... Must be, uh, must be good after what was it? Nine years of putting this project together to finally see you know everyone start hyping it up or getting getting excited about it. Yeah, well, you know, as as, as you know, um, the book is out on uh, Wednesday, guys. Is that right? This coming Wednesday, on first, the first, that's first, correct. yeah, first of July. Um, it has been a long, a long haul. It's it's been well worth it though. Um, uh, Three hundred and eighty-four pages of uh, graffiti terror. <laughs> um, yeah, it's uh, it's uh, it's it's a monster. Probably one of the biggest uh, graffiti books, and I might add uh, one of the most quality graffiti books uh, it ever is, man. produced. It's um, it is a very very well put together product. It's yeah, good to thank see. You. Um, so yeah, just actually, you know, explain to the listeners exactly like what what the project was, what it is, and so uh, yeah. Well, I might hand it over to Jiro to uh, to, to run down that line. Well, yeah, pretty much just a book on like the history of Melbourne graffiti. You know, the first the first ten years, I guess, like blank walls where you know there was no no such thing as like, uh, like the first layer, like ever on the walls. You know, the the trains and all the rest of it, all the way through. Like, um, you know, the guys that I guess started it and sort of how it evolved generation after generation. And yeah, yeah. pretty much. That's so we're talking uh, eighty three to ninety three of the years that you guys have covered in the book. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's eighty three to ninety three. Um, the books. Uh, so before eighty three, like we're not, you know, it's it's pretty much like for people who don't know, it's yep. after like what Star Wars and Wild Style sort of got well, across this part of the world. That was where it sort of started to to come in. Yeah, that's right. Well, well, I mean, as the book kind of, I don't want to go into too much detail as I did on another radio show the other night. <laughs> boring, boring, boring. Um, the book kind of uh, covers uh, even the very early kind of beginnings of graffiti, which uh, were pre hip hop. There was graffiti yeah. around in in, uh, in Melbourne, uh, political graffiti, and a few other kind of things, which which uh, you know people find out when they see the book. But obviously, 
uh, the big wave of uh, graph uh, that you know was uh, incepted in in Melbourne uh, was due to as you said Star Wars Subway Art getting up uh, you know Beat Street breakdance the commercial kind of aspects of, the, of, 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 of uh, you know hip hop itself uh, so yeah it kind of MTV video clips those kind of things it kind of hit the shores it, it kind of goes through the whole like breakdance thing as well like um, yeah. kind of like the whole breakdance influx and how that influenced the like yeah. you know, graffiti and I guess like the uh a lot of the breakers were doing the pieces before, like before it became a fully fledged sort of graph scene. Because like, these uh, days, these days, like you know, hip hop, you know, particularly uh, just worldwide, you know, it's it's pretty much all about the rappers. But in Australia, back in the early days, not that I was around, but from reading books like yours, even I haven't touched upon it yet. But yep. uh, you know, other books that have come out that that cover those things, you know, it was really the breaking and the the graph culture that came first. I think it was similar in Europe as well. Like you had the the breakers and the graph before you had the uh, the rappers come into it more so yeah it was I think like I think um, one of the things that's kind of been forgotten in hip hop culture is that uh, graffiti and you know the 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 the, uh, the architecture of graffiti was one of the key things that actually kicked off the hip hop scene itself um, I think it's become a bit of a a kind of not a byproduct, but the, the, it's kind of broken up now. As you're saying, you know, you've got Aussie rap, you've you know, raps kind of of its own, and and hip hop on the world stage is all about you know, music clips and all that kind of crap. People have forgotten uh, that one of the biggest and most uh, vital kind of uh, veins of the start of hip hop was graffiti, um, and there's a hell of a lot to understand. Um, as to how that actually works, not just, I mean, especially, obviously, in our book, but also, uh, you know, the global New York City, obviously, uh, the core of, of, of Graf and, and, and kind of how it, uh, how it built the culture. One hand on the wheel, the other one wipes my brow With the headlights flickering, how with the voices bickering? Foot to the floor, I roar down the lost highway The tarmac looks like a whiny chasm The median to media muttering Telling me the world and its people might never see me again Reach for the CC bottle, but I'm no Canadian Fear and loathing and out of Melbourne Sounding paranoid like Hunter Thompson in a desert phone booth The weasels are coming for me, demon Wings try to claw me, but I stay resilient Broken lines, unbroken lines Dim highway lights and the broken promises Puzzle, 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 for, puzzle for days Over life's contents, I meet it with contempt An old good pal of mine Never liked you maggots, so I call the swine Drink anything from the top shelf glass Aluminium beer cans are down to the bag wine Lost a bitch with a hag for a mother in cash for its siblings I almost crash, is the speedo ticking? 170 in my bone white Nissan, my bone white Nissan the the lost highway, ride with me The lost highway, turn the key The lost highway, you don't wanna see The lost highway, the lost highway The lost highway, ride with me The lost highway, turn the key The lost highway, you don't wanna see The lost highway, the lost highway The tyres are slipping, maybe I'll be headed for a wreck Embarking on an ending like the Batavia Erratic bad sleep pattern behaviour Scrapes my thoughts like a Rusty shaver, stuck in this metal container with rubber rollers. Fuck the music, I listen to the deafening wind through the wound down glass. It's always colder. Matthew, ready to bubble in hell soda. Future, present, past. The bastards are asking, aren't you going a bit fast? The lost highway only has one lane and you can't overtake and pass. Cause you can't fucking see what's coming at ya before it's all too late, like an RPG to a helicopter gunner. Blown out the clouds. Familiar characters, familiar towns I've seen them talking, wasting breath With the same consonants and vowels Shrug off the doubts, sliver all doubts Ghost rod, lights off, roll unannounced I swear I can hear the barking of the hounds Drive, drive, can't drive Head for the sunrise, look for the signs With broken capillary, collar my like eyes The lost highway, ride with me The lost highway, turn the key The lost highway, you don't wanna see The lost highway Highway, the lost highway, the lost highway, ride with me, the lost highway, turn the key, the lost highway, you don't wanna see, the lost highway, the lost highway.